Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Romans chapter 5 verse 8, Exodus chapter 4 verse 12, and Lamentations chapter 2 verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Lord God, for this word. Thank you for being our strength, our song. Thank you for dying for us. We love you, love you, love you. Father God, thank you for sending your son. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God has shown his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Wow, isn't that a beautiful thing to know? He didn't wait until you got yourself together. He did it while you were still in sin. Thank you, Jesus, for not waiting on us because we, we, none of us would be saved, right? It says, but while but God showed his love for us. And so that was an action towards us, even when our actions towards him were hostile. He still reached out and died for us. He still came to us, lived a perfect and sinless life, and therefore was um, a perfect atonement for us. All right. And so as he lived, so he died, right? As he lived, he lived a life of sacrifice. And when he died, he died a life of sacrifice. And so that's how we should remember him. That's how we should um, think on the goodness of God. And that, you know, while, while we were yet sinners, Christ died. All right, Exodus chapter 4, verse 12. Now, therefore, go, and I will be with your mouth and teach you what you shall speak. All right, and so, you know, when God called Abraham out, right, and, and wanted him to do the will of the Father, um, he didn't say, I'm going to give you a class. And then later when you graduate, you can go speak. No, he told him to go speak. And, and, and so even before he got his, any certifications, <laughs> even before he, he, he was, he was all perfect and right and good. God sent him on a mission, right? So it says, now, therefore go. And I will be with your mouth and teach you what you shall speak. God has a calling for you. God has, God has a plan for you. And he's going to teach you what you need to do in order to achieve the purpose that he has set out for you. And so he wants you to go right? He wants you to go just like, um, you, he had, he, he sent his son to die before we were right. He wants us to go before we know, right? He wants us to believe him and, and move on that belief, right? Not moving on, um, your own confidence, right? Your confidence should be in him and his ability. That's how we are walking by faith. He wants us to do his will, continue to do his will, but not based on the fact that we know what's going to come down the road, not based on the fact that we have the next step already and we can see what it's going to be. No, we need to go out and do as the father says, do while it is still day. You may not have the answers to how the do is going to get done. You just have to take one step at a time. It says, now, therefore, go and I will be with your mouth and teach you what you shall speak. That was a step of faith that Moses had to take right? He had to put his trust in God because he did not have an understanding, right? He did not have a good understanding of what it is that he was to do and, and how he was going to accomplish the task. But guess what? God has an errand, right? God has an errand for every Moses. He has a way that, um, 
is made in the wilderness. He has a, a, a path that is made in the wilderness. And, and we have to trust him and get up and go when he says go and know that he's going to provide. Amen. All right. And so while we were yet sinners, Christ died. So that means that he did it on good faith. He did it knowing that many would reject him. But guess what? He did it anyway. Amen. All right. You guys, Lamentations chapter two, verse three. He has cut down in fierce anger all the might of Israel. He has withdrawn from them his right hand in the face of the enemy. He has burned like a flaming fire in Jacob consuming all around so there is a great wrath that is soon to come and we need to be children of faith we need to walk by faith and not by sight we need to be like our father while we were yet sinners christ died right and so we need to be like the father god we need to go forth. We need to do his will for our life, looking to him, the author and the finisher of our faith. We need to constantly be seeking his understanding and moving by the spirit. It doesn't mean you're going to have the answers, right? Because you may not have the answers to why something happens or, or what to do in every single moment, but we have to walk by faith. It says he has cut down in fierce anger all the might of Israel. Why? Because they were trusting in horses and chariots. They were trusting in Egypt. They were trusting in everything except for him, right? Because they could see what what they thought that they could put their hands on and, and, and stand on and stand firm in. But guess what? Just because you see something doesn't mean it's firm. Just because you see the chair doesn't mean the chair is going to stand when you sit in it, right? You have to put your trust in the Lord, right? It says he has cut down in his fierce anger all the might of Israel. So as Israel thought they were so, so great and so grand in their own eyes, right? They had the confidence. Um, God was not with them. God was no longer with them. He was allowing their enemy to come in and 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 ransack them. It says he has withdrawn from them his right hand. So when you think of that right hand, you think of provision, of blessing, right? Just like with Moses, God had a blessing on Moses to go forth and to speak to the Pharaoh, he and Aaron, right? And so um, we don't want God to withdraw his right hand from us. So we do his will. We walk in his way. We want his covering. So we need to walk in that, right? We need to stay with God, not just go to God when we want something, but we need to stay with God. It says for, it says he has withdrawn from them his right hand in the face of the enemy. So the enemy was coming in. The enemy was about to get them in check, but it was, they wouldn't have been able to get through, but it was God who allowed them to come through, right? Because God had withdrawn his hand from them. It says he has withdrawn from them his right hand in the face of the enemy. He has burned like a flaming fire in Jacob consuming all around all right and so um as as Jacob is is having this flaming fire right through the wrath of God being poured out on them up, up in the previous verse Moses has a flaming fire of a bush that he's talking to right so what kind of fire do you want right? We want the fire of God. We want the blessing of God. We want God to be in our mouth. We want to be doing his will. We want to be teaching, sharing with others. We don't want to be have that flaming fire that is there to consume, right? But in order to, to come under that righteous covering um, where all that consuming all around is not taking place, you have to have faith right? God is a, a, a rewarder of faith. He, in order to come to him, you must first believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So God has a plan for you. He has a task he wants you to accomplish in, in 
just like on good faith, he died for us. We need to on good faith move for him, right? Because his move was of love. We need to move by love, right? We need to allow his provision, allow his covering, but we need to trust in God that just because I don't see the next step, I still am going to step out. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, that you have such good in store for us. Even in the midst of the bad, Lord God, you have good for us. Lord God, we say thank you. Help us to be people who believe you and let it be accounted to us as righteousness. Lord God, through your son, Jesus Christ, Lord God, help us to receive the the love that you have given through him lord god and help us to to know what it is that you are speaking through us and what to do lord god you are a great god you're a wonderful father we say thank you in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen all right you guys take care and be blessed